This is the two ball drill. This drill has many, many uses. I'm uh, going to discuss two of them today. Uh, one of them is if you have the shanks, this drill is brilliant. All right, there are several different reasons why you can have the shanks. It doesn't matter which one you have. This is going to teach you to react to a more inside the ball, you know, path. Because if you're shanking this ball, you're obviously hitting like this, either from being steep and early extending, swinging too much inside out. It doesn't matter how you're shanking the ball. You're reacting too far out this way, okay? So with this inside ball, you're gonna stand up to it and address the outside ball as if you were gonna hit it normally with your normal comfortable setup. You're gonna take the club away with your normal takeaway and then you're gonna physically feel like everything above the foot shifts three inches this way in order to hit this ball. And it's gonna give you a feeling on how to maneuver the club in a better direction. If you've got early extension, it's gonna help you with that because your body's normally gonna to wanna to move this way to get to that inside ball. If you're swinging too far inside out, it's gonna make you get your hands and arms in more so it's not working away from you. If you're coming over the top and shanking, so this is obviously good for those of you who may not have the shanks, but have that over the top swing. If you're shanking because you're going in and out and you can see how far out that hosel is, it's gonna force you to get in here to hit that inside ball. Now for safety's sake, you gotta move out forward a little bit and make sure there's no one immediately to your right until you understand how to do this. Now, some of you are looking at me and saying, Monty, it's impossible to hit that inside ball if I'm, or the inside ball if I'm setting up comfortably to the outside ball. It's not, okay? This is not unlike the miss the ball drill that, that some of you might have seen. It is really not as difficult as you think. And just to show you that it is not that difficult, you're only supposed to put the balls to do this drill a couple inches apart, where when you hit the inside ball, there's a comfortable amount of room where you can hit the inside ball flush and still not hit the outside ball. So there's probably two inches in between these balls. But just to show you that it's not physically impossible to do, all right? Now, the important thing when doing this drill, it is not important how well you hit the ball. You may hit it fine. The important part is to give your brain something different to react to, all right? So, as you can see, I am not reaching for this outside ball as a trick to give myself more room. You can see that that ball's pretty well into me. But what you're going to see is, is I'm going to take a backswing, and you're going to see my whole body and my hands get in like this in order to get that inside ball. It's very, very common because you're going to be very steep to, in, to that inside ball to hit it very fat to take a very deep divot, that's okay. Because if you're standing to this ball, you're gonna be steep swinging to this ball no matter how hard you try. So hitting the ball flush is not the goal. Finding a new thing to react to is the goal. So here we go. So as you can see, I took a pretty big divot, hit it a little bit fat, I got a little off balance into my heels, but you can see how far in I learned to get my hands and arms in, okay? Now, if I were to duplicate that move, there is no way I'm gonna come close to shanking that ball in the normal position. I'm liable to shank it off the toe as much as anything else. And for you over the toppers who don't have the shanks, I was absolutely forced to bring my arms and hands in to hit that ball very, very close to me. So obviously what I did was very, very much exaggerated. But when you have them about this far apart, it should be relatively easy to take your normal setup and get your body and your hands to work in more.